five, four, three, <clears throat> two, one. Hello, my Richies, and welcome back to another episode of the Make Life Rich Movement podcast. My name is Sarah. I'm your host. And in today's episode of the Sunday Strategy Sessions, I thought I would show you the books that I'm reading over the next week, week and a half, and uh, see if any of them interest you. And I will certainly link them in the show notes so that if you are interested in them, you can find them at your local library or wherever it is that you purchase books. And uh, we'll just get started right off the top with the craziest one. This one I'm definitely giving to myself as somewhat of a, the effect I would look for with fiction, but I just don't really care for fictional reading. So I'm going deep into the mania with Charles Manson and the CIA. It's called Chaos. It's a thickums book, so this is going to take me a few days, but I am kind of excited just to like literally piece together all the things that I've always heard over the years about the CIA and them working with him and LSD and all that stuff. I actually found this book or learned of this book on a Joe Rogan episode. And uh, I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. It's summertime. I need something casual to read. And uh, I'm going to give this a go. So I will let you know how this book goes over on Instagram, of course. I don't think I'll be doing like a book catch up episode. But if you are into conspiracy theories turned reality, uh, you may want to give this one a little looky loo. So it will be in the show notes. The next book that I'm reading is a little thick in terms of just the amount of content they have yammed into this book and I just like okay so sidebar I pick most of my library books online so I don't get to see them I don't know that they are a 2024 release unless I specifically search for that so I accidentally every time I reserve books pick three of these damn things that have a two-week rental so one of those and the one I'll be reading first uh, is Cultural Intelligence for Marketers Building an Inclusive Marketing Strategy. I'm very excited to read this puppy simply because it's a book about marketing, has the word cultural intelligence in the title, and it was written in 2024. So it it looks a little bit more like a collection of white papers, but if you are in business and you are uh, involved in your marketing, you may want to give this book a read. It's thick as well in terms of length, it's 243 pages. So you can probably garner a lot from this for your business. And I think I will do a review on this book. And depending on how I like it, maybe I can get the author to come on and do an interview and we can go even more in depth. But if you are trying to up your game in marketing, give this a read. The next one on the list I'm very excited to read through and hoping to get the author on. It's The Vegas Nerve Reset by Anna Ferguson. It's definitely something you could read in a day or two. And I think for people that have no idea what The Vegas Nerve is, let alone why you'd want to reset it, I think this book is actually like going to truly be perfect for that, which is why I would love to have her on. She's a somatic therapist. And she just gives you a lot of tips and tools to kind of train your nervous system and just like kick it back out of trauma and into a period of rest. So I'll let you know how this goes. One of those two weekers. Another book that fell into the two week category, The Weight of Nature. This is kind of just how climate change changes our brains and the way that we interact with the world. Never thought about that, but we're animals too. So like, what the fuck? I see how it affects the animals in the ecosystem that I live in and there are absolutely changes to their brains and the way that they're behaving. So it makes perfect sense that we would fall into that category. This book is about, I don't know if you guys care how long the books are, but I'm just telling you because I, I'm always curious what the investment level is for me before I'm like, eh, I'll sign in. So this one is 275, not bad. It does seem like it has just a lot of jam-packed evidence, a lot of theory, and I'm very excited to see what the fuss is all about for this book. 
There's another book I'm reading right now that I'm so pissed. I don't have next to me. That should have been the first on the pile. But it is a book about Harriet Tubman. I'm really hoping to have this author on. She is so cool. Her writing style is beautiful. But I think it's really important for all of us, especially now in this time, to be aware of those that came before us and made significant impacts and changes in our culture and our country by just being one person willing to make a difference and to do something and set out to make a change. And the book is beautiful. It also covers a lot of other female um, just change makers that were back during that time frame, African-American female and African female change makers. And no surprise there, they weren't heard or seen. And a lot of their works and contributions are now being felt and applied to modern day efforts for change and growth. And it's just such a beautiful book. I'm really hoping I can get the author on the show. And I just would really love to have a conversation about this book. So I will put the link for it in the show notes. Get to know Harriet Tubman, you guys. Her name was Aminta, such a beautiful name. She was known as Minty. Uh, Harriet Tubman came in later on down the line. But it was really beautiful to just learn about who she was and what made her, even though there was so much suffering and trauma and pain at the heart of what made her. Uh, but all of that pain led her to do such heroic and fantastically impressive things to save so many and including liberating herself and time and time again, re-liberating her soul and being able to do it. I love reading. I don't know if y'all have picked up on that, but I have replaced a fair amount of my TV time with reading time. I will say that during the day when I'm working at my desk, YouTube does get me. I've kind of fallen into a teeny tiny little bit of like a crime doc phase. And then I'll do a ton of like learning and research on different topics and different things going on, whether it's like house related stuff or learning more about podcasting, editing videos, um, you know, just random ass Reddit rabbit holes that I fall into. I will have that kind of going on in the background. But primarily, if I have brain power and a little bit of energy and I have the day ahead of me or it's, you know, a little bit before bedtime, I'm reading. And in reading, I've had such a change in not only feeling more relaxed, but when I'm reading, I can fall into a place where I'm reading for an hour straight. And in that hour straight, I'm almost in a meditative state that really just kind of propels the rest of the day to be super chill. So reading, I enjoy for the meditative practice of it, but I also learn so much. And I'm a contextual person, but I also need to read something to remember it. So for me, I will find a lot of podcast topics and people that I like to interview based off of the books that they've written or the research that I've done. And uh, it is like my number one favorite way to prepare amazing content for you guys on the Make Life Rich Movement podcast with my reading research. So if you are a reader, I encourage you to check the Reading Rainbow link in my highlights on my Instagram page. I've highlighted all the books that I've read since I decided to start keeping track of it. But it's definitely um, you know, a joke within the house that I'm like weekly going to the library to add more books that I took on hold to sit in a huge pile. I currently have 33 books waiting to be read, and uh, including these four that I showed you. So I've got my work cut out for me. I want to encourage you, if you aren't currently in a reading practice, to just find something enjoyable and give it a go. I really think that reading is something that was forced upon us at a young age for scholastic purposes that really took our autonomy away from the joy that reading can provide and the peace and the meditative presence that it can provide. So I encourage you to read a little something something soon and I would love to know what it is that you're reading and if you are a new reader and you're jumping back in, what was the book that got you back on the horse? Uh, you can leave me a message either in the question box on this episode or you can leave me a voice note if you'd like to and I can include it in a future episode where we talk all about books, which I might actually do once a month because I'm reading so much at this point and there's so many cool writers out there and so many amazing and informative books that I would just love to share with you guys when I come across them. So 
Thank you so much for tuning in. This was a short Sunday strategy. My 1% tip for the week is that you go find a book somewhere, pick it up, give it a read, and get back into the habit and the joy of, of reading and giving yourself that time and that space to dedicate and explore and create a place of wonderment in your life. That's certainly what it is for me, and I hope that it is that for you as well. I will catch you guys on Tuesday for our next interview episode. We have a very, very informative business episode coming up where you are going to get to know just exactly where to begin with something that we all need to run our business. And I'm being a little cheeky with not telling you exactly because I want you to wait in suspense until Tuesday. But until Tuesday, my Richies, I hope that you have a fantastic week ahead. And as always, make life rich.